Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can validate our Laravel APIs. So uh, API validation simply means when user does not pass some proper values to the APIs, then we need to show some error messages like uh, password is small or pa password is uh, not proper and username is blank. These kind of messages we will put in the API validations, right? So these are the steps that we are going to make in this video. First of all, we will uh, make a route for the API. Then we will add the validations. And after that, we will save the data in the database if validation is passed and uh, we will return the result, right? And uh, we will also test this, that API in the both manner with the errors and without errors and all, right? And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box if you want. So this is my table devices we will just add some data here after passing the validation and uh, these are my three files api file for the router and this is my model and this is my controller so if you don't know that how we can make the controller devices uh, model and all then you can watch our previous videos link is given in the description box for complete playlist right so let's go to the api.php and make a route first of all so just define here route with the post method and let's say you can just put any uh, URL like I just want to uh, put my URL name save and uh, then in the second parameter I will just define my controller name colon colon class and uh, in the second value of this array we will dis define the function name so let's say uh, test data is my function name because we are testing the validations here right and uh, let's just make a function with the test data and uh, in this function we have a request parameter and this request parameter will come from the uh, from the postman and uh, it will be a request type like this and for a moment so that we can just check that everything is working fine or not so you can just uh, return something for a moment like this right and uh, now let's check this uh, url from the postman so let's make it a new one and delete the previous one right so let's select here the post method then just go for the root url and then just put here save because this is uh, the url for our api and here you can see that we got the result so let's uh, put some data in the body the row data then select the json and uh, just put here two fields like name and uh, name i can have like a laptop or something right this is my device name and uh, member underscore id and here we can have some ids like uh, 10 or something right like this so and we can just remove this comma at the last for a moment this is still working fine so what i'm just want to do i just want to put a validation on a member id so let's say i'm just make, making it blank and now i want to just check that if member id is not present then i want to show an uh, validation message to the api right so for that first of all let's import you uh, validator class right and uh, just come to the function back and uh, just uh, simply write here first of all rules that what rule you, we want to apply let's say uh, name is required member is required max and min width whatever you want to put the rules right so just use here rules is array and uh, in the array we can just define here as in string member underscore id and uh, this is basically required right and uh, let's make a semicolon at the last and now just take a variable with the let's say validator and uh, just use a validator class colon colon make function and this function have actually two parameters 
in our first parameter we will pass our all request so just write here request all and in the second parameter we will pass our rules that we want to just validate right so just use here rules and now we will check that if uh, dollar validator act fails right so let's say uh, we got some issue with that then what we will return here return dollar validator errors right and this is basically a function like this and if everything is fine then we can just make an else condition here like this and now let's try again what we are actually getting here so uh, all right so we got an error let me check what is that okay it just tell me that fails okay so fails is basically a function so i just missed it now you can see that member id is required basically right so we got a validation method here added here so let's say you just want to add some more things like uh, member id and it's uh, max length or let's say min length is uh, one right and uh, okay min length is two and uh, max length is let's say four and now let's try again if i just use here member underscore id and i just put its value like uh, one right and then i will get that the member id must be at least two character right and if i just put here two let's say 12 then i got the proper result here and if i just put some more characters which is more than four then the member id may not be greater than four characters that's great so now in the else condition i just want to save the data and for the save we already written the code here so because we already have the imported device and all so i am just going to write here uh, dollar device is new device uh, like this and dollar device name will become from the request name and uh, device member underscore id will become from uh, request member underscore id right and now i will check that i will take a variable with the name of result and i will put here dollar device save so if uh, result is uh, true uh, result is true uh, what i am just going to write here result is true then uh, we can show some result like uh, for that we can just make it copy so that we can save a time little bit and 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 let's put like this right and now if we still got some issue then we can just sh sh uh, put here that uh, uh, operation failed otherwise data has been saved so now let's try once again we will just get that mm, the member id should be less than four characters and let's make it uh, like 11 and now we have the data has been saved so let's see did we have any result with the name laptop and member id 11 or something yeah we have with the id uh, with the member id 11 name is uh, laptop and this is auto generated id right that's okay so now uh, you can see that if we have some errors or some validation issues like this that time we still have the our status is 200 which should not be like this so what it should be there like uh, unauthorized error or uh, unauthorized request or something we must have to write like this right so that what you can do here just simply put here result uh, sorry response and uh, response have basically a function and in the json function we can just simply put here dollar validator errors and uh, in the second 
parameter we can put here 401 right 401 and at the last let's put semicolon now when you just try to save it now we get the that the unauthorized request that simply means there is some issue with data and uh, if we again we got some fine thing then data will be saved with the status 200 and okay so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and now you i have a question for you that can we use the same validation with the other kind of methods like uh, put delete patch and all so if yes then you can say yes and if no then you can say no with the reason also and uh, god bless you bye bye and please subscribe my channel and like this video